Hi guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a subject I'm going to touch on and that is using your Yolink door or contact sensor for more than just your home alarm system. And what we're going to do is make our home a little bit smarter by using our door contact sensor that leads out to our back porch or patio and have that contact sensor trigger a outdoor porch or patio light or multiple porch or patio lights if they are equipped with a smart bulb or if they are equipped with a smart outlet. And in this case, we're gonna use a couple different products in this video as I show you the steps I take in order to turn the lights on and then turn the lights off with the door contact sensor. So stay tuned. And we're back. And today we're gonna to be using our Alexa and our Alexa app in order to combine our Yolink contact sensor that's located on my back bedroom door to my back patio. And we're gonna use the Alexa routines to set up a trigger to activate my Wise smart light bulbs that are in my porch patio lamp fixture. And then also we're gonna experiment with adding multiple lights. We're gonna add the porch Wise light bulbs and also our rope uh, lighting to have them turn on while the door is open and then when the door contact is closed it will turn all the patio lights off the reason i want to do this is we have three golden retrievers and lots of times in the evenings before we go to bed or something we'll open that door and walk them outside to go to their doggy run area and they'll do their business and then quickly come back in and shut the door and then the lights will go off all automatically so we're not searching for light switches our house is fully automated so let's see how we do this I'm gonna use the Yolink smart contact sensor if you haven't seen that I'll leave a link up here where you can find out how to easily use the Yolink devices and set them up with the Yolink hub and they are very good reliable sensors I highly recommend them long-lasting battery and long range so if you want to use them all around your property that's the contact sensor to get. Also, I'm gonna use these wise light bulbs. I've already had them in my inventory and I set them up so that I can trigger this routine. And I'm also gonna use the Govi string lights and uh, we're gonna put all those together. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we want the routine to look like. We're gonna go out to my bedroom, open up the bedroom door. You see I have the Yolink contact sensor on it. And I want these lights here in this light fixture right outside the door with wise bulbs in them. I want that to trigger on when the door is open. And we can set these for certain times of the evening hours. So they're not coming on in the middle of the day. Also, after that, we're gonna try triggering it to activate both the wise bulbs in my light fixture and the Gobi string light bulbs to light up the whole entire patio as well. So let's get to it. All right, and we're gonna get started. Now we're gonna use first the Yolink contact sensor, and we're going to go in a routine in Alexa, and then we're going to set a routine to switch on our wise bulbs in my outdoor patio fixture light. And uh, when this is open, it's gonna turn these on, and when the door closes with the Yolink sensor on it, it's going to turn these off. So we're going to go into our Alexa app. And first thing we want to do is go down to uh, more in the bottom right corner within the Alexa app and select routines about halfway down, select routines. And we're going to add a routine. So we're going to select the plus sign in the top right corner of the app and our routine name. First routine name is going to be, uh, I'm gonna name it bedroom door lights. Cause it's our bedroom door that leads outside. Uh, maybe I'll do uh, patio lights or porch lights. 
there we go. And select next top right corner. After you're done with the name, you can name it anything you want. I recommend you naming it to something around that part of your house. So if you need to change the routine, you can easily uh, find the app by the name a description. <clears throat> so when this happens, we want to select the plus sign. When this happens, when a smart home activity, so select smart home and we're looking for <clears throat> our Yolink contact sensor on our bedroom door. Now see how I named these so I can easily find it. Anything with a Yolink device, I put YL for Yolink in front of it. So I'm looking for YL bedroom door contact. See that one right there? Select that. So when this opens on the bedroom door, when the bedroom door opens, select next. After you select open, select next top right corner. At any time, we, we're going to come back and change this to nighttime, but we're going to be testing this out a little bit during the day time hours here. So I'm going to keep it on any time, but you can always go back and change this. Then what we do, what do we want it to do when this uh, contact opens on our bedroom door? Add action, select that plus sign across from add action. <clears throat> we want it to do another smart thing. Uh, where is it? Smart home. Select smart home. And we want it to control a group because I have two of these bulbs in my outdoor uh, light fixture and I grouped them up already within Alexa. So we're going to go here to control group, select control group. If yours is not in a group, you can select all devices at top or lights. If it's under lights, you can select which uh, name of the light that you want to control. Mine should be in a group. I'm going to select control group. <clears throat> and I'm going to select bedroom porch light group. Select that. In my case, I want to power, select power and make sure that toggle is slid to on. You can have it power off or power on. I want it to power on and brightness. I want it to be 100% when it powers on and uh, color temperature. I can select, I'm going to select uh, daylight white for my color temperature. You've got that option on the wise bulb. If you select a different type of smart bulb, uh, like the sing led, I believe is a good smart light bulb. I use them in my uh, family room, whatever you want to use. Uh, the wise does have different color temperatures. So I'm going to select that and select save at the top right corner now. So that's everything it's going to do. It's going to power on hundred percent at daylight white temperature. Now I'm going to select next again, top right corner. And there's our whole routine right there. That's exactly what we want it to do. Now you can add another action. You can add other bulbs. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's try it out. I'm going to add another bulb. Actually, I'm going to add <coughs> the Gobi string lights. If I can find them on here, let's add another smart home device, select smart home. And this time I'm going to select all devices and I'm going to scroll through all of these. And I think I named it string lights. Let's see. Okay. Actually I have it connected. The, uh, the Gobi lights are connected to this YoLink smart outlet switch. It's in a weatherproof box in my patio and it controls two outlets on this. This is a really unique product as well by YoLink. And here I remember I named it, uh, the Yolink back porch uh, power strip all. So that's going to turn on my Gobi string lights and my uh, patio porch screen lights, the rope lighting. So I'm going to select that one all, and I want that to power on. You can power off or on. We want it to power on. It's going to turn both sets of those lights on and select next at the top right corner. So now there's our complete routine named bedroom door porch lights. And it's going to turn on the uh, Yolink power strip with both of my screen lights and Gobi string lights on there and the back porch porch uh, back porch light group with two wise bulbs in it. So I'm going to select save, save this routine top right corner. 
routine created successfully and there it is it's done now you could actually play that routine it's the first one i've got it uh, created in last created order bedroom door porch lights if you select that play button it will play it but we have to add another routine first and that's to turn them off when the yolink contact sensor on the door is shut again so we're going to select uh, to create plus another routine so select plus routine name actually i'm going to show you an easier way to do this i'm going to go into bedroom porch lights routine and go to the top right corner select those three dots at the top right corner and we're going to copy actions to new routine so we don't have to select all those things again select copy actions to new routine routine name plus we're going to name this bedroom porch lights whoops lights and then I'm going to say off. That's the routine that turns them off and done. And then next at the top right corner, select next. When this happens, select that plus. <clears throat> A smart home device happens, select smart home. And when the, remember YL bedroom door contact, select YL bedroom door contact in my case, you're going to select your uh, contact sensor on which door you want. Mine is the bedroom door contact. I'm going to select that when it's closed. So this time to turn them off, we want this to pick up trigger when it's closed. Select next at the top right corner. At any time, in this case, we're going to keep it any time right now. Add action. Now, we can't keep it like this because those actions, even though they're the correct devices we want to control, the outlet strip and the wise bulbs, we got to go into each one of them under add action, select the YL back porch power strip all, select that, and we want to change that toggle to power them off this time and select next to the top right corner and do the same on bedroom porch light group. We want it to power off and we can uncheck the brightness and color temperature because it's just gonna power off at that point and select next at the top right corner. And that's it, we've got everything to turn off when our Yolink contact sensor on our door is closed. Select save at the top right corner. Routine created successfully and there it is. We got be bedroom door porch lights. I'm gonna select that and modify the name and I'm gonna put on here, on. So I know which routine is on and which is off. And there we go, that's updated. So we got an on and an off routine created in our Alexa. That's it guys, so let's go try out this routine and see if it works, see how it's operating. All right, guys, we're in the bedroom here now, master bedroom. Here's our back porch door I was telling you about. I've got the Yolink sensor mounted right at the top right here for our door contact open and close sensor. Now we also uh, have this doing double time. We use it as a security monitoring system so that if this door is open while we're away or at night while we're sleeping, it's gonna trigger the Yolink siren alarm if you didn't see that video, I'll leave a link to it up here. Pretty cool si siren alarm that Yolink has come out with and connects to their security contact sensors and motion sensors. So that's cool stuff there. So let's go ahead and open this door. We've come out here and our light is coming on there. Back porch light fixture. And look, our lights are coming on up here. I know it's hard to see because it's the middle of the day, but there's our Gobi string lights and my screen patio rope lighting. And of course I've got videos on all of these lighting systems. I'll leave the links above there as well. So check them out. They're very cool devices. Uh, 
lighting devices to have set up around your house. And it looks like our routine is, is going to work. Let's see if it works. See, this is like an example of how it would be if we came out at nighttime to let the doggies go out. And we've got a, a dog door right there, doggy door right there. We usually go out with them at night, make sure there's no critters out there that attack them or they attack. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this door here. We're going to watch that porch light and our Govee lights. It worked. Guys, we did it once again. Another smart video created with our smart products. Hope this helped you guys. And I'm going to do one more time coming out here at night so that we can check it out and see how it looks. But it, it works instant, right? Let's go ahead and open it again. Opened. Lights are back on. Let's close it. Lights off. Cool. All right, so I'll leave the nighttime example. And thanks for tuning in to another one of my videos. And guys, I'll see you on the next one.